okay? So first of all, I want to say thank you for viewing. Thank you for being with live from the NABC. And I'm going to go over those contests again with you. Um, this time you can hear me, so I'm going to tell you, first of all, it's a beautiful day in, here in Ely, Minnesota. As we're looking, we got a beautiful blue sky, wouldn't you say, Laura? Beautiful. And uh, light breeze, sometimes it gets a little heavier, so if you hear the wind, it's because it's a, it's a little windy here and there. Uh, but what a gorgeous late October day. And uh, I want to tell you about a few, few things that are going on right now. The first one is uh, the contest that we've got going on. Guessing the den dates of Lucky Honey Ted Holly, and um, all four of those bears are just wonderful. I got to tell you, I'm going to get to guess their denning dates for cozy cups. Oh, nice, huh? And then we're going to have guess their weights, uh, the four of them. So you get to guess their weights now. Just to go over it with you a little bit, uh, if you want to get into that contest, and we haven't seen a lot of action on that contest in the last few days, you can go to the Bear Chat Pitcher Place to put your guess in. And uh, there will be a single winner for each of the categories. And you can also go and get together with the pond, or the moderators on Pond Chat. I guess I can't read neither today. But you want to go on Pond, pond Chat, and that way they can uh, take care of you. And we want to say thanks to those moderators out there. Some of you I know quite well, so be careful on those uh, weights and those uh, den dates. No cheating. But i got to tell you, uh, some other things we're kind of looking for, um, Laura, and, you know, we're always looking for volunteers out there and people to help us out. And we've got to reach out to you guys and to ask you. Um, we're looking for a bear educator uh, student internship. We're looking for three of those. Um, interested people can find uh, the position description on the volunteer page of bear.org. Um, we're also looking for a professional grant writer position. We, we got an opening for that. We could use your help out there for that one, too. Again, you can uh, go on the bear.org website for that. But right now, I'm excited to introduce Laura. Laura, you've been with this uh, NABC. You've been with Lynn. You've been here quite a few years, correct? That's correct. Lots of years. Lots of years she's been here. And i got to tell you something. Laura is what we would call retiring again. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. I taught school forever, and now I'm uh, worked here forever, so I am retiring a second time. I'm going to kind of test Laura. I'm excited to have her here as a guest, but I'm going to kind of test her and ask her, uh, about when did you start uh, working for the North American Bear Center, or Lynn? Uh, my husband and I came from Ohio in 1998, and it was in the early two, uh, 2001, 2002. Um, I know I worked three years uptown, so to speak. And then Lynn came to us in October and said, I'm going to close everything until I can open my facility out here. And that was October of 2004. And so in May of 2007, I made uh, arrangements to come out and work for Lynn. Now, uh, you, you, made arrangements. you made arrangements to come and work for Lynn then? Uh-huh. I mean, I had hoped when, they, when we opened in the new facility, there'd be a job for me. And he said there was. So here I am. And I've worked eight years here at this facility. So uh, you've worked here since the doors opened, correct? You bet. I remember the first day. We were ready, but we opened the doors. And so the starts, and there's, you know, but we had a good beginning, and that goodness has been continued. It's been a good situation for us. Now, when you first came here, what bears were in residence? Well, uh, bears we have now in that um, Ted was here and Honey was here. And during that first summer, uh, Lucky came as a cub. And I remember him being in a dog kennel in, inside, and they would uh, uh, feed him. And one day he got loose from the girl that was kind of his overseer, and you should have seen everyone scramble. That's the only time I remember ever seeing him actually, um, uh, you know, not being held by someone or being held by someone. But he was an active cub, and his coming, I thought, was a really good situation because, you know, we all like babies and cubs and that type of thing. So uh, we had our two mature bears, and they were a delight, but the cub was a, a good situation for us, too. Wow, that's really a neat story. Thanks so much for telling that. Uh, so what you're saying is he got loose in the store? Uh, yes, I guess they were transferring him out of maybe to feed or something because I remember uh, someone would s sit there and feed him and that type of thing. And he got loose one day and he ran. Of course he did. 
they corralled him and put yeah. him back in. Mm -hmm. Then eventually he moved out here, which was fine. He was very active there. Were we able to uh, collect his entrance fee and put a sticker on him? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, uh, well, there was a lot of good excitement for a while. <laughs> Wow, that really is neat. I did not know that story at all, and I'm sure there's many I don't know, and I'm sure there's a lot of stories you could tell. Um, what is your retirement going to bring, if you could answer that? What am I going to do with my life now? Is yes. that your question? Yes. Well, I'm going to enjoy my last winter here, I think, and then in the spring I have a cabin, and I hope to sell my cabin. I don't want to. I don't want to leave okay. here. But I have children in New Orleans, and I have children in Topeka, Kansas. So I'm headed south to spend uh, the next portion of my life near family. Well, that's really a great uh, thing to hear, and we're going to dearly miss you here. I haven't known Laura all that long, and I'll tell you, she grows on there really quick. Um, I've tried to ask her many things that would keep her here, and I haven't found nothing yet that I could actually accomplish that would keep her here. But, uh, you know, she's always known that door's open for her. And I guess I just got to tell you a thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I know there's somebody here that dearly wants to thank you, and I'm going to invite uh, Dr. Lynn Rogers over here right now. Dr. Lynn Rogers, come on over. Hey, here he is. Here he is. Look at this. Yeah, I got to I gotta tell you something. This is so cool to have you back with Laura. Um, you can say some words to her. So, yes, I, I mean, um, I remember... I remember seeing how well you interacted with the people in the in our first three years of storefronts elsewhere, and uh, I knew that we just had to have you here. I remember asking you in church one day, "Any chance we can get you, Laura?" And you said, "Yes, you can." And so, because uh, uh, I just uh, I knew how you were, and we had to have you here. And then when you got here, the reputation you created is that you're, you're great for the guests. Uh, if anybody needs somebody to fill in for them, you were the one, the dependable one that uh, that uh, that they went to first, and uh, and that you figured out how to fold the clothes so we get the most on the shelves. <laughs> and taught the rest of the staff. If you saw that something was low on the shelves, you were the one that would go to the, the stock room and get it if there was any, you know, moment that you could. And, uh, and I asked the staff, uh, what would you say? And they just said that you went far beyond in every area and you'll be greatly missed. That is, that is really neat. Uh, do you remember that story about Lucky? Uh, no, I, w I was listening over there as she told it, and that was news to me. I think they kept something from the boss. I kind of yeah. like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you mean you guys did not have control of that beer? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I guess his name Lucky is just uh, fitting for all that, ain't it? Yes, that's right. Now, that name was selected by visitors, actually, because when they saw what this beer was doomed to die, uh, where she ended up, they said her name has to be Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, of course, Laura got lucky to see Lucky break out. Yeah, right, right yeah. But she could run, but she couldn't hide. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I guess uh, I'm going to take another minute here. Uh, as uh, Dr. Lynn Rogers is here, we're going to invite the staff over here. I know the staff wants to say goodbye to her. and. Uh, it's just kind of fun to do this kind of stuff, Laura, and it lets it, everybody know how appreciated you are. You are so appreciated. I appreciated you. I've, I've said many times I needed you more than you needed me, I think. <laughs> the reason I stayed in Ely is because my, uh, th one of my reasons is because of the Beer Center. Okay. And so I'm, I'm going to miss you all. Thank you. Thank you. And we just want to say thanks out there, and I think everybody wants to say thank you. Uh, thank goodbye to you. Thank you, Laura, for all your service and dedication to this fair center. Thanks. Laura, you're a lovely lady. We have enjoyed working with you. We're going to miss you like crazy, but have fun. Thanks, Laura. We'll miss you, and I hope that your next adventures are great for you. Thank you, Laura, for making my job so much easier and teaching me so much about the retail side of the business as I came in. I really appreciate everything you taught me, and I wish you much luck in the future. 
and you know, again, I know Lynn probably wants to say uh, the last few words, uh, but I think again, from the bottom of our is, uh, is a troop and a group. We want to say thank you. We'll miss you. Um, Lynn, anything else you want to say to the group out there, or to Laura? Just, just thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, too. Okay, and one last little push I'm going to ask uh, Lynn to do is uh, speak about the uh, Give Men and Give to the Max program. Ah, yes, yeah. Boy, and it's, this year is going to be it's going to be make or break. Not break. Not no, break, no, not that no. Bad. Come on. But it's it's going to make the Bear Center so much better because uh, the money is all going into the new addition uh, to make the best exhibits, the best book learning center that we can come up with. And so uh, we're just um, just ready to go. All right, and I guess I want to say for the group, uh, everybody out there, we need you on the 13th of November or before. Thank you, and have a great day. And Laura, thank you so much for coming. Dr. Lynn Rogers, thank you for coming. Staff, thank you for coming. Golf claps, thank you, Laura. All righty, thank you, and have a great day out there. Bye now.